Okay, so the most crucial material right now in Global Grand Cross is this pendant right here. You guys have seen the screen here. Bam! The SSR pendant, or the game likes to call it the Evolution Pendant, uh, which is probably the most crucial, you know, material right now in Grand Cross. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use it, how to get it, and uh, basically all the steps you need to do uh, to awaken your character from SSR to UR, and all the good shenanigans. So, right here, uh, we're going to be showing uh, right now that I'm going to be awakening my SSR Meliodas, the green counter Meliodas, to UR. Finally, I've been playing this game for, I want to say, uh, four to five hours now. It's completely grinding. I'm finally getting my first technical UR. I do have another Meliodas on there, uh, UR, and I'll be showing you guys how I got them uh, a little bit later down in the video. But right here, we're going to evolve our character, as this game likes to call it, from SSR to UR. Now, guys, I'm feeling the pain, man. I'm feeling the pain of ha not having any SSR pendants. It took me forever to get another SSR pendant right here so we finally have three to be able to evolve our character even further beyond. I farmed all the books. The books were relatively easy to obtain. Uh, I didn't have any issues obtaining the books. What I had trouble with was the freaking SSR pendants and uh, SSR pendants are going to be an issue when you first start off the games. Right here we're evolving our character. I want to protect her. Obviously talking about Elizabeth but wasn't, I wasn't able to protect her. That is my sin. This time I must protect her. I will no longer allow those close to me to be hurt. Uh, if you guys know the manga, there's a deeper meaning to this. Actually, no, they revealed it, I believe, in the anime by now. So, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. So right here, we got him to UR, and we're gonna enhance him to level 60. Unfortunately, it does reset each time you uh, level up a character from like a different rarity to a different one. It does reset your uh, level, so it's kind of bad and it's kind of not in a way. So I'm completely fine with it. Right here, we got him to level 60 you are and right now I'm going to show you guys how to get the pendant, how to get the books and the materials to be able to do Okay, now that I'm in Leotis is level 60 you are, uh, there is this thing right here down here you guys see it in the bottom left corner it is glowing and there is a lock behind it so it's telling us to unlock it. What this is is his passive ability. Now once you get a unit to above 16,000 combat class uh, this thing will be able to be unlocked. Make sure you guys unlock this on your characters because not only does it raise the combat class of the character, it also helps you out with the character because some characters have very unique abilities. Uh, for example, this one it increases crit chance by the ratio of the hero's uh, diminished HP when using a skill. So this is actually going to be super, super good on this unit and you do want to activate or unlock his passive skill because his counter card is going to do insane damage. We are fighting Bon right here, so this is going to be a pretty difficult fight. Uh, usually what you want to do when you are locking this ability, you want to have some gear on your unit. Uh, I'm not sure what gear my Meliodas has, I just gave him some random gear. Uh, I need to work on gear actually here pretty soon because I'm getting to the point in the game where it's kind of getting tough for me to do some events of just how hard it's getting. And gear is very, very important to uh, progress through the game. Also, obviously, leveling up your units from, uh, what is it called, from SR uh, to SSR, from SSR to UR. It is very, very important to progress the story. Okay, let me do this. Perfect. I'm saving my level 3 counter right here so I can finish him off after he supers me. Otherwise, I will never be able to get through this stage. Okay, so, this is actually looking pretty good for me, I'll be completely honest. After he supers me next turn and attacks me, I will be able to uh, finish him off with my uh, counter card. Oh, he's not hes not attacking me next turn. Nice, dude. He's doing the heal thingy. Okay, okay, I see you, Ban. But we should be able to finish him whenever he does attack us next. So, boom, I'm going to let him attack me there. Nice, let's go. And, okay. Very nice bond. Okay, bond's not even attacking us, so I'm gonna do this and this. Just gonna ult him, which stuns him. This melee is super good, man. I'll sh you guys will see here pretty soon why he is a must need unit to begin with, uh, especially for story mode. Alright, bond, please. Okay, there we go. Bond is attacking us right here, so we should be able to finish him off after his attack, his initial attack right here. So uh, you guys will see why Meliodas is so good right here. Come on, bond, attack me, dude. Attack me, dude. There we go. Bop. 
Look at that, 83,000 damage, dude. 83,000 damage! That's why he's so good. That's why he's so good. That's why uh, we told everybody to reroll for this unit because he comes in clutch in story mode, okay? That's why he comes in clutch in story mode. And right here, we do have his passive unlocked, so now he's gonna be able to do crits the less HP we have. And obviously, you can go here and change his outfits now. I do have five outfits for him, which is very, very good. That's a boost to my defensive stat. Uh, I'm gonna run with this one. I'm gonna go with this one. I like this outfit a lot. Okay, now let me show you guys uh, how to level him up. Well, we already leveled him up, but uh, to level up your character, you go enhance. Pretty sure that tutorial. If you played this, you already know how to do it. I showed you guys how to evolve him. Uh, you can't limit break them yet until I beat more story chapters. I know the units can so far go to level 65 on global. That's the thing. Also, these stars are very, very important. I feel like this is a whole video on its own talking about the stars because these stars give you stats, uh, combat power, and all that, and they're very, very important. So uh, I will probably make a video separately on this on how to get these stars and how to uh, give stars to your units. Okay, now let's go to the most important thing, the thing you clicked about for this video is how to get the SSR pendants, the most crucial item and valuable item in Grand Cross. Like I said, when I first started off, I was literally, I would do anything for an SSR pendant, man. I would literally do anything for an SSR pendant. Uh, so right here is most likely the only place you can get it right now. There's two places right now you can get it, uh, maybe three. Uh, so right here you guys see the events we, we okay, so let me go back in the tavern, right? You click the battle thing the two swords you go in the special dungeons and You click on the events. So these three stages are the only stages that you are able to get the SSR Pendant I highly recommend doing the gold stage it, it is you can only obtain it in the last stage of any of these so for example on this one, I can only get into the third stage. This goes for this one as well. I can only get into the third stage. And for this one as well, once I beat these, I can only get into the third stage. I've beaten this once, which was actually relatively difficult. And it's going to be difficult for newer players, guys. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. This stage was hard. This stage was hard. I had to use a friend unit that was level 65 that I found my friends list to be able to beat this stage. And not to mention that the uh, SSR pendant drop rate is only 2%, okay? This game does not reward SSR pendants. It really doesn't because this this game <laughs> makes you grind for them. It, it, it really makes you grind for them. And let me tell you guys, the SSR pendants, once you get the SSR pendants, <laughs> once you get like one or two to drop, you guys are going to be like super excited. That's how it's been always on the JP side version of the game. Right now for me on JP, since I'm like end game, uh, SSR pendants aren't really an issue for me anymore. Uh, but when I first started off, SSR pendants were literally gold. Okay, they were literally finding gold. That's how valuable this item is. So you can grind them on this stage right here, the special events. Uh, this, is, this is like the main place you can grind them. Now, you can buy them for gold coins in the coin shop as well. So right here, if you go right here, coin shop. This was actually recently added to uh, Global and JP. When I first started playing the game, this was not in here, dude. You can only buy SSR pendants with a uh, one SSR coin, which is not worth it. Don't do that. Never buy SSR pendants with your coins, okay? This coin shop right here with the SSR stuff is going to be filled with goodies, okay? So don't spend your SSR coin and dupe coins yet. If you want to, I highly recommend staying away from this, but if you really, really want to, you can use 10 gold coins to purchase one SSR pendant. I highly recommend don't do it because, I mean, I, I don't know, man. This is tough for newer players because I'm like leaning 50-50. I actually might even purchase some myself because of how valuable the SSR pendants are and I do want to progress the story. But that's basically the two main places you're going to get the coins uh, other places an SSR story chapter might drop one here or there but uh, looking at this right now I I, I don't see any uh, SSR pendants like looking through these quests okay never mind I do see one right here uh, episode 43 like story chapters are like they do have them but it's like super rare to get a drop of an SSR pendant if you feel me like it's super rare 
they do have them though. So if you keep playing the story mode, uh, you do get some SSR pendants, uh, but they're not like reformable. Like how that stage I showed you guys in the events, right here, battle, special dungeons, uh, events, like these three stages are going to be the only stages that have SSR pendants. I'm not even kidding. Unless you like spend actual money to buy some, these are the only stages that have the SSR pendant, guys. I, th there's nothing else that has it. Okay, now eventually, uh, I believe what JP does is right here on the growth missions, they have like special events, maybe like once a month or two in two months where they give away like five or six as a pendant, but that's like super rare. Uh, they might sometimes have like a pendant event that drops, but that's also super rare. But as of right now, when most people will be watching this video or playing, the only place to get SSR Pendant, Evolution Pendant, is right here in these three stages, that's it. And you gotta do the last stage for a 2% drop rate. I know it sounds tedious and, and bad in a way, but I mean, you guys gotta just power through it. That's what I did on Shape Hits, what every player did. Uh, it gets better, trust me, it does get better. Once you uh, level up, you get a full team of UR and you're set, you shouldn't have any problems moving forward. So. That, that's, that's just how it is, okay? Uh, that's how it is. Uh, okay, so I then talk about farming the books. The books are very, very easy uh, to farm. Uh, books is probably one of the easiest things. Also, potions as well, level up material. So, this is where I farm my books for Miliotis. So, if you go down here, the second two tabs, you can scroll, and there's different colors. There's blue, there's red, and there's green. Basically, each color represents the typing of the book. So right here, I did farm uh, this stage until I got enough material to level up my Meliodas uh, from SSR to UR. Uh, this book stage drops uh, five star books, four star books, and three star books. Obviously, this one can drop the uh, five star book, give it an even better rate, uh, but it's a little bit harder. So I recommend doing this one for now if you're early game, and then you know once you get later game, you can even do the 14 stamina one. Uh, just look at the uh, CP enemy CP requirement. Uh, that's gonna show you how tough the battle is. That's why I usually indicate my battles. Like if it's something like 5k over, I can most likely beat it. And yeah, so that's pretty much all it is to this tutorial and guide, guys. Uh, just keep grinding. You'll get there eventually. I've literally been playing this game for uh, what's it called now? I want to say three or four hours. I already have. I have two URs right now. Uh, I got this UR by just following the story right here. Actually, if you follow the story right here, the hero's way. You can also get an SSR uh, ticket. It just basically takes you and gives you the materials to rank up this Meliodas. So, basically for free, and you get a UR Meliodas. He's also very, very good, not to mention. So, if you just follow that story right there, you can easily, you know, get materials, get a UR, and then work your way to an SSR. So, that is also a thing. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Give me for a drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. It helps me out a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.